Hello friend, today we shall discuss about topic project constraint management. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting especially if you have interest in project management or you are planning to give exam or PMP in near future. Friend, whenever we talk about constraint, basically we are talking about a limitation. Limitation uh, that or you can say boundaries that we must have to obey, we must have to follow those boundaries or those limitations and we can not go beyond those limitations. So project constraint management involves understanding and managing the limitations that impact a project success. These constraints typically include scope, time, cost, quality, resources and risk and by managing these constraints help ensure the project is completed successfully. So the key uh, project constraints are first one is the scope that means the work required to complete the project and meets its objectives. For example, if you are building a house, the scope includes everything from the foundation to the roof. If you decide to add a swimming pool halfway through, uh, that's a change in the scope. Time, the schedule for completing the project. For example, if you plan to finish building the house in six months, that is your time constraint. Delays in material delivery or bad weather can affect this cost the budget for the project for example if the budget for building the house is 300k any additional expenses like the added swimming pool can increase the cost as well uh, then the quality means the standards that the project must meet if the house must meet certain safety standards and building the codes that defines the quality using substandard materials to save money could compromise quality as well. Then resources means the people, equipment and material needed for the project. If there are only three workers available instead of five, it might affect the project timeline and quality. Then risk, then potential problems that could affect the project. For example, if there is a risk of a contractor going out of business, it could delay the project and increase cost. So by managing these constraints, we means balancing scope, time and cost, normally it is called as uh, triple constraint. Changes in one constraint often affect the others. This is often visualized as a triangle where each side represents one constraint. For example, if you want to add a swimming pool scope uh, change, so you might need to uh, more time and money. If you want to speed up construction, that is means increase in time, you might need more uh, workers resources which increase cost prioritizing co constraints means deciding which constraints are more important in making trade-offs accordingly for example if staying within budget is your top priority you might accept a longer timeline or reduce the scope regular monitoring and adjustments means continuously tracking the project progress and making adjustments as needed for example if material cost go up unexpectedly you might need to adjust the budget or find cheaper alternatives to stay within budget uh, examples in detail first one is the scope management imagine you are organizing a conference initially the scope includes booking a venue inviting speakers and arranging catering for 100 attendees later if you decide to add workshops and increase the attendee count to 200 this change in the scope requires more time money and resources Time management. If a software development project is planned to be completed in six months, but halfway through you realize it's going to take eight months due to additional features, scope change, you must adjust the timeline and possibly inform stakeholders about the delay here as well. Then cost management. That means if you have a fixed budget for a marketing campaign, but halfway through ad prices uh, increase you might need to cut down on some less critical advertising channels to stay within budget. Then quality management means if you are manufacturing a product that needs to pass specific quality test and your materials don't meet the standards, you might need to find higher quality materials which could increase cost and affect the timeline. Then uh, resource management means if a key team member falls ill, reducing your available workforce, you might need to hire a temporary replacement or reassign task among remaining team members to meet deadlines. Risk management means if there is a risk of a supplier not delivering on time, you might have backup suppliers or keep some buffer time in your schedule to handle such delays. 
so by understanding and managing these constraints effectively you can navigate challenges make informed decisions and increase the likelihood of project success